Hi guys, so um, I've just been watching the last video back where I was teaching you guys how to do my um, one of my favourite drum fills that I like to play during my drum solos on tour. Um, and I caught myself um, completely, completely oblivious to it at the time, but I caught myself while I was giving you an explanation, just doing a bit of stick twirling, like that. Um, so I thought to myself, um, why don't I teach you guys and how to do that and give you a bit of a, a bit of a bonus video for two videos in one day. So let's have a bit of fun. Um, okay, so first up, you see, you're going to need a drumstick. Um, now the, there are different ways to uh, stick to well. People have different versions. My version um, involves using three fingers like that. Um, so the first first thing you guys need to be able to do, oh, just not my bass drum pedal. Um, the first thing you guys need to be able to do is literally, if you can, if you can start with your stick between your index finger and your middle finger and just kind of hold it there between those two and if you can see if you can get that motion going on just by pressing with your index finger it should just twist on its own like that okay so that's the movement I'm doing like that okay So, what you want to try and do now, make sure, like I said, you're going to use your third finger as well. Make sure that's out of the way while you're doing your, um, your little, your little uh, twisty thing. don't know the exact word to call it. But yeah, make sure that third finger is out of the way because what you're going to do is when it gets to this point, you're going to bring that third finger up okay, with your finger, okay, the back of your finger against the stick. Okay? So, what you've got then is, if I show you closer, so your middle finger on one side and your index finger and third finger on the other side of the stick. Okay, so starting like that, a twist, bring up that other finger, I'm trying to get it so you can see properly. Okay, and then remove your index finger from it, so then you can see I'm now using my middle finger and my third finger to hold on to it, okay. Then see if you can twist it back the same way, back to your index finger, and back to the third finger, index finger, third, index, third, index, third, index. So even though it kind of looks like on the um, on the video that it looks like it's got something fancy going on already, um, it, there really isn't. It's just going from there, coming round, catching it like that. Removing the index finger so it goes like that, and then back again, index finger out of the way, grab it with the index finger, remove the third finger. Like that. Okay, be patient with yourselves when it comes to this, guys. It's not the easiest thing to do at first. I've known so many people to struggle with it um, at first, even I struggled with it when I was trying to learn. So don't, uh, don't beat yourselves up, just keep having fun with it. Um, I'll take this opportunity to kind of go over something with you guys. Um, I don't know if you've heard of muscle memory before. A lot of you will have done, but some of you won't. Um, muscle memory is kind of like your actual memory where you remember things uh, that have happened in the past. Your muscle memory uh, recognises patterns. Um, now, let's say, for example, um, I know that in the past a lot of you guys um, have probably been big fans of Fortnite. Okay? And you've probably, uh, as um, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna demonstrate it because you you you'd cringe and I I simply don't have the skills. Um, but for a lot of you guys, you've probably done various Fortnite uh, dances and stuff like that in the past. Um, a really common one has been the floss. Now you might have found that when you were first trying to learn to do the floss uh, Fortnite dance, that it was very difficult to do. There was a lot of um, a lot of coordination involved with arms and different movements going on and stuff like that. Um, 
but what you'll have done is you'll have um, slowed it down a little bit and um, done it step by step until um, it became easier and easier. And what that is, that's your muscle memory, teach, uh, teach, uh, trying to uh, get to grips with it. It learns to recognize patterns. Um, so things that have been difficult in the past, you've done over and over and over again until your muscles kind of go, oh yeah, I remember um, this. This is the movement that goes with this. And then I'm supposed to do this movement next. And it starts to um, build those connections until they get tighter and tighter and tighter until you can do it absolutely flawlessly um, with not a problem whatsoever. Um, another example, um, you won't really remember this, but um, for example, like young babies when they're learning to walk, um, nobody can walk at first. And then um, they keep, keep trying and trying and trying. Um, now, obviously, they don't understand the concept of muscle memory. But um, the muscles eventually learn the patterns, they learn what to do, and then um, and then it just starts to come together on its own eventually. Um, so yeah, um, just going back to my original point anyway. Um, okay, um, that's um, muscle memory that will get you doing your stick twirling. And anything else as well, if you're learning another instrument or you're learning to play something tricky on the drums, um, anything that I teach you, you might struggle with at first, just keep going over it nice and slowly, eventually you'll pick it up, it's all down to muscle memory. Um, just keep going over it, make sure that you um, slow, slow things down rather than doing them incorrectly, because just as your muscle memory will pick up what you want it to pick up, it'll also um, pick up bad habits and mistakes and then you're going to have to correct it. So it's always better to slow it down and then speed it up eventually. Okay, so so far, like I was saying, we've just passed it back and forth around our middle finger, like that. Okay, so the next part um, is slightly easier. All you have to do, hold your hand out like that, and then twist it like that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, I, I just thought of thought of something that it reminded me of something that a student showed me a while back. Um, so yeah, like that, 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 that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is combine the two movements. Okay, so I'm starting with my the palm of my hand facing upwards. Okay, I'm going to twist. And as I do that, I'm going to turn so that the top of my hand's facing upwards. And then I'm going to switch it back so the palm of my hand's facing upwards. And then back, and then back, and then back, and then back. Okay, so watch what my wrist is doing. Don't watch the stick, watch my wrist. You see how it's just going back and forth like that? So top, palm, oh. Get the snare drum. So uh, top, palm, top, palm, top, palm. Okay. And then you just speed it up. Nailed it. Awesome guys. Okay, so like I say, just be um just be patient with yourselves. It is so much fun once you learn to do this. Um, in some of the future videos, I'm even going to teach you guys how to incorporate stick twirling into your um, drumming. Um, any of your tricks that you learn to do, try and not just do tricks on their own. Try and do um, try and keep your drumming going at the same time as you're doing your tricks. Okay. Otherwise, again, that's your muscle memory picking up bad habits. You want to get used to doing the right thing right from the off. Okay. So do it slowly. Have fun with it. Let me know how you get on with it. Best of luck, guys. I can't wait to see how you do with it. See you later.